So first, let's learn a little bit about DX Feed and you, um, e e each of our guests together. What is DX Feed? What makes you special? How did you get involved in, and what's your background? Uh, Oleg, let's start with you. You're the CEO here. Let's, let's hear the, the origin story. Yeah, the origin story is uh, uh, actually quite practical. So we, we've we been in, in the traditional market of building systems for online brokerages and exchanges for 20 years already. And uh, somewhere around 2007, we have uh, uh, had so many problems with the current vendors of our key clients that we just decided that we will do it ourselves. So we basically started with the promise of quality for our customers, right? So because this was a uh, way for us to uh, not to deal with somebody else's faults, right? So. Uh, it's easier to control when, when you have it uh, all. So uh, fast forward to current uh, um, moment, right? So we uh, do cover uh, all the uh, traditional exchanges in the United States, many of those in Europe, uh, some of those in Asia, and we are present uh, around the world in the network of data centers and providing quality data to uh, traditional uh, firms in the uh, capital markets industry. And uh, it's about time that we uh, start thinking about uh, entering DeFi economy, right? With, with the promise of quality data that we already have and uh, our established technology and uh, some innovations that we have come up with uh, over the course of the uh, last uh, several years. So that's that's what we're bringing in. Fantastic, um, and, and Dimitri, I know that you are uh, on the technical side as well. I've seen some of your webinars about how you guys create these data feeds. Can you give us a, a brief, like, technical explanation, uh, uh, or or at least description about how these data feeds are premium? Like, what does that mean? Well, I think uh, Oleg already mentioned that uh, we are directly connected to the core data sources, so we don't use any aggregator, so like middleman, so we are uh, like a partner of, uh, of traditional exchanges and we do provide uh, data for largest online brokerages. Uh, from the other hand, so we don't stick ourselves on the traditional distribution of raw data which we are getting from exchanges and so we did some innovation and experiments in traditional like, data sources. For example, we do have some signature equities feeds or some uh, OTC feeds for, I don't know, Forex exchange instruments and then crypto field as well. Uh, and right now, so we do see that uh, all which we've done is very applicable to the crypto and DeFi infrastructure. And we simply can't ignore this web field uh, while, I don't know, me, traditional big names are still keeping themselves a part of the crypto market. But uh, we see that uh, our services are on a greatest need right now because the number of data sources in crypto is booming. Lots of taxes and taxes appear these days. So our signature infrastructure plus our expertise and distributing the market data will be quite a good fit here. No, oh, yeah, I, I can't help but agree. Um, not only are the data sources growing,